the top five iconic cell phones of the 2000s. Number five, the StarTac by Motorola. Even though the StarTac Motorola was released back in 1996, it was one of the most popular cell phones in the early to mid 2000s. The StarTac is a series of mobile phones released by Motorola starting in 1996. It is the successor of the MicroTac, a semi-clamshell design first launched in 1989. Whereas the MicroTac's flip folded down from below the keypad, the StarTac folded up from above the display. The StarTac was among the first mobile phones to gain widespread consumer adoption, approximately 60 million StarTacs were sold. In 2005, PC World named the StarTac as the sixth greatest gadget of the past 50 years, out of a list of 50. The StarTac brand was revived in 2004 and 2007 for a series of flip phones exclusive to some Asian markets, and again for a cordless phone model. The Motorola StarTac mobile phone was introduced at the price of $1,000 when it first released back in 1996. In October 2010, the now-defunct French company Lecky, which refurbished iconic vintage products from the 1990s, released a line of refurbished StarTacs in new colorful bodies for €220 Euros each. Number 4. The BlackBerry by RIM. In the early 2000s, Research in Motion Limited, also known as RIM, became dominant in the mobile industry under the BlackBerry brand. They had a global dominance in the smartphone industry. In 2007, RIM had the highest growth of the BlackBerry brand. Afterward, they slowly lost dominance, as many consumers were moving towards devices like the iPhone from Apple and the Samsung Galaxy, due to their all-touch screen form factor. Later on, the physical QWERTY keyboard on a smartphone became a significant feature of BlackBerry, which the brand was named after. In the 2000s, BlackBerry made the jump from a phone for business people to a phone for the general public, largely due to the launch of the BlackBerry Pearl in 2006. It had a sleeker profile than its brethren, which felt more like old-school Palm Pilots than cell phones, plus a modified QWERTY keyboard in which some neighboring letters shared keys. Number 3. The Razer by Motorola. When the Razer debuted in 2004, it was the epitome of cool. This slim, clamshell-style phone was all about style and substance. With its ultra-thin design, metal casing, and that satisfying flip, the Razer was a trend-setting phone of the 2000s. The Razer didn't just look good, it was functional too. Equipped with a camera, which was a big deal at the time, Bluetooth, and even expandable memory, it was ahead of its time in terms of features. Many of us still remember the excitement of snapping that phone shut after a conversation, feeling like a secret agent. Number 2. The Sidekick by Danger Inc. The Danger Hip Top, also rebranded as the T-Mobile Sidekick, Mobile Flip and Sharp Jump, is a GPRS-slash-Edge-slash-UMTS smartphone that was produced by Danger Incorporated from 2002 to 2010. The HipTop software was designed by Danger Incorporated, which was located in Palo Alto, California, and purchased by Microsoft for $500 million in 2008. Danger provided the HipTop OS software and back-end services for the device. This included a catalog of downloadable software applications, email hosting, instant messaging, web proxies, and a cloud service for the entire personal data on the device. The original HipTop hardware was designed by Danger and manufactured by Flextronics. The HipTop 2, 3, Sidekick ID, Sidekick 2008, and Sidekick LX 2009 are all manufactured by Sharp Corporation in Japan and designed, respectively, by Danger and then Danger in partnership with Sharp. All versions of the HipTop were developed in close partnership with T-Mobile, although carrier-specific features were either removed or added for each carrier, such as the addition of MMS for Suncom and Telstra HipTop 2 users, where the feature was not available on T-Mobile USA devices until the Sidekick LX in 2007. 
The true mascot of the early 2000s was the T-Mobile sidekick, and if you had a bedazzled one like Paris Hilton, you were really crushing it. The phone let you go on the internet and IM people, and the fun sound it made when you flipped out the screen was addicting. Number 1. The iPhone by Apple. The iPhone is a line of smartphones produced by Apple Incorporated that use Apple's own iOS mobile operating system. The first generation iPhone was announced by then Apple CEO Steve Jobs on January 9, 2007. Since then, Apple has annually released new iPhone models and iOS updates. As of November 1, 2023, more than 2.8 billion iPhones had been sold. The iPhone was the first mobile phone to use multi-touch technology. Since the iPhone's launch, it has gained larger screen sizes, video recording, waterproofing, and many accessibility features. Up to the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus, iPhones had a single button on the front panel, with the iPhone 5S and later integrating a Touch ID fingerprint sensor. Since the iPhone X, iPhone models have switched to a nearly bezel-less front screen design with Face ID facial recognition, and app switching activated by gestures. Touch ID is still used for the budget iPhone SE series. The iPhone is one of the two largest smartphone platforms in the world alongside Android, and is a large part of the luxury market. The iPhone has generated large profits for Apple, making it one of the world's most valuable publicly traded companies. The first-generation iPhone was described as a revolution for the mobile phone industry and subsequent models have also garnered praise. The iPhone has been credited with popularizing the smartphone and slate form factor and with creating a large market for smartphone apps, or app economy.